Hi guys, it's Adam and we're going to do 10 sales in 10 minutes. Um, I've just been rudely interrupted by my mum on the video, shouting upstairs my name really loud, so I'll have to um, cut that bit out or I might just, I don't know, anyway, I'll do something. Um, yeah, so I'll have to work my editing skills, which are virtually non-existent. I just, I, I'm not good at clipping the two you know, like putting two clips together. I'm all right at doing the intro and the outro and stuff like that and doing pop-ups, but I'm not good at clipping two, you know, two video clips together. Anyway, um, you'll probably see that in previous videos, like where I've just done a really botched editing job. But anyway, is that the word botched? I think it's a word. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. But anyway, um, First sale, David Walliams books, £1.50 paid, into 10 quid. The reason I've included this one is it was a quick flip, um, you know, four or five quid profit. It's a bread and butter item. But also, I, um, I found that these David Walliams books are one of the only books I'm selling at the moment that are actually selling. Um, David Walliams and Disney Wonderful World of Reading and then box sets are still, you know, book box sets are still going well. But Jacqueline Wilson, Harry Potter, Mr. Men, they've all really ground to a halt. Uh, a halt. There we go, yeah. Um, so it's a bit, um, it's a bit annoying with those ones. So this would, the reason I listed these as such a small bundle is um, just because I knew they'd get a quick turnaround. So yeah, if you see them, pick them up. Hardbacks do better, and obviously we do better in bigger bundles. You don't really want to be selling, you know, just free paperbacks or whatever. Try and do bigger bundles to get a bit more money out of them. Um, yeah, so that was those. Um, dog lead I got for two or three pound. This was just like a complete punt. Uh, I got nine pound ninety five plus shipping on this. Two ninety nine, sh two ninety nine shipping. Um, so yeah, I mean it was quite a weird sale, but yeah, I was happy with that. Um, if I saw these in future, I'd probably pay a quid for them. Just because, like, two or three, paying two or three quid for them, it's a little bit high and there's not too much profit in it then for me. So, if I saw it again, I might pay sort of a quid to pick them up. Um, next was some Lego Incomplete Sets. Um, 11 99 plus 2 99 postage. Not a lot to say, really. They were in a big Lego job lot and... I didn't want to be faffing around to get the spare pieces or, or piece them together or anything. So I threw all these incomplete sets together and bundled them up that way. And they went quite happily um, for 11.99 plus 2.99 shipping. So yeah, that's that. Um, Disney VHS, same buyer bought two of these. So it was 11.99 times two, five pound postage times two. So it would have been 34 pound. Well, it would have been like 33 pound. 96 or 98 or something like that um so basically 34 quid i would have actually paid for these 20 vhs or 21 vhs however many it was i would have paid no more than three or four pound um because i was buying them in big crates at the car boot so yeah really good that one really nice profit on that so yeah uh, i wasn't complaining about that sale um it was a bit tough trying to find a a big box for them because the VHS are quite um, bulky when you've got 20 odd of them. So, um, yeah, I had to find a box that was fairly big. Um, but I managed to do that all right. So, anyway, um, next, number five, was 8 PS3 games. This was just a shooting game bundle. Um, and I got 13.99 plus PMP. So, a nice sale. I'm not going to read too much into that one because it was just from that big uh, video game job lot I got. So... You know, I mean, it's nothing special. It'll just go towards uh, replenishing that and giving me a bit of profit on that. Um, so, yeah, that was that one. Um, I missed the... Well, I didn't miss it. I mean, it's still happening now as I'm doing this video. But um, I basically forgot I had this listed. And it's a Pokemon item. It's a Pokemon Backpack Poliwhirl. And I forgot I had it listed. And then this Pokemon, Pokemon Go craze took off. And then it sold, and I was like, I, I was kicking myself because I thought, oh no, I could, I probably could have got ten or fifteen pound more for this, but I completely forgot I had it listed. Um, and this happens to me every craze there has been: the Chewbacca mass situation, the pie face, and then this. I am just so bad at cottoning on to these. 
to these trends and I can never seem to squeeze any sort of profit out of them because I'm just so slow and it's one of the main things I'm really trying to work on as a reseller being more sort of um, having my eyes open like 24 7 to the world around me on media on you know wherever it may be wherever these crazies may start I've really got to get better at that because at the end of the day it's cost well I suppose it's not costing me money but it's costing me potential profit at least so yeah I'm a bit annoyed at that um I also undersold my uh, Pokemon Monopoly because again that sold just before or just as the craze was sort of ramping up and I was annoyed at that as well um so yeah I mean but I can't complain I mean I bought this for like £2.50 or £3 and I still got nineteen ninety nine plus shipping so I mean I still made good profit I can't really complain there um Harry Potter the Night Bus £24.99 plus £3 shipping um yeah, this was basically, this was like my seventh Lego job that I had. Uh, I could have pieced it together. I could have uh, bought the spare parts needed. Oh, I've got a sale. Oh, it's nine ninety five. some sort of minifigure. Oh, it's a minifigure bundle. Um, yeah, and um, I could have pieced this together. I could have bought the spare parts needed. But to be honest, I was just lazy. I this was like my seventh Lego job, as I say, and um, yeah, I just couldn't be bothered. That I mean, I'm gonna help hold my hands up. I couldn't be bothered. I've still made profit on this in terms of the actual uh, cost to me. Um, in terms of the weight of the actual Lego, probably cost me about four pound, um, but I couldn't tell you an, like an exact cost because um, it was in this big job lot, so I don't really know. Um, but yeah, there was some good money in that anyway. So 28 quid on that one uh, Next is a Philips VR 550 um, 25 pound plus PMP quite happy with that Maybe could have got a little bit more, but I'm still fairly happy with what I got um, And I paid five pound for this so that was all right um, I don't was this the one that didn't come with a remote. I can't remember um, I've not wrote down if it came with its remote or not, but yeah, I don't think this one came with a remote. Yeah, it didn't. It came with a SCART lead, I think. Did I actually include the SCART lead? Anyway, I don't know. Um, now I'm thinking it did come with a remote. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, you'll be able to see on the picture. I don't know why I'm doing this, racking my brain, when you'll be able to see if it came with its remote. Um, yeah, so anyway, that was that one. Harry Potter book box set 1 to 4, hardback, uh, the hardback box. Um, yeah, I got £36, that's including shipping, I got £29.95 plus my £5.99 with Hermes. Uh, this item will actually go through Royal Mail as a small parcel. Um, if you use um, bubble wrap and cl um, black cling film, you will just get it to go with Royal Mail. Um, but this, the box was a little bit tatty and stuff, so I wanted to put this one in a box. Um, you know, I just didn't feel comfortable doing that. So, uh, with the cling, just the bubble wrap and cling film, I wanted some cardboard protection. Um, so I put this in a box and just charged five ninety nine for Hermes. Um, but yeah, very nice sale from a three pound investment there. So, oh, I don't know about profit margin on that, but it's going to be fifteen quid at least, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to at least fifteen quid, if not more. Um, so yeah. I'm happy with that one. And finally, a thing that I'm really annoyed about. Uh, this was the menu pegboard. I decided to put this on auction, thinking that it was one of those items that would um, get, people would get in a bidding war, basically, and it would just take off. Unfortunately, it never really did. Um, a lot of people commented on my video saying, you want to put that on, buy it now. And I had actually because i had scheduled my video you know for a few days after i had recorded it i had already gone ahead and put it on auction and i shouldn't have done i should have waited till the video came out to get people's opinions on it i already put it on auction obviously i had a few bids so i couldn't end it and um yeah basically it sold for 41 plus shipping now it was a two pound item i paid two pound so by no means have i lost money by no means is it a bad sale, 
but I could have got more if I put it on buy it now. I firmly believe that. Um, and that just comes down to experience. And next time I get anything quirky like this that I really don't know about, I'm going to do some more in-depth research and see whether it really is worth putting it on auction or whether I'd be better just doing it by it now, which is probably the route I'm going to take anyway from now on because I've had this sort of experience with auction. But yeah, it's quite hard to do the, the auctions. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Hope you enjoyed this sales update. Um, and yeah, or there's a lesson learned. Always remember to do your research. And if you have any sort of... If you think in any way that it might be better on auction, just be wary and really look into it a little bit more. Um, don't just, you know, whack it on auction like I did. Um, but yeah, so anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up if you did, I know we're on 11 minutes so it's going to have to be 10 sales in 11 minutes, but ah well. Um, so yeah guys, see you very soon, bye for now.